Okay. And shotgun. There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make our recurve bow. I'm so excited. Been waiting a long time uh, to do that. Uh, but we have had some action in between episodes. Uh, so here is what has happened in between episodes. So we have enough uh, power and mass built up to make the recurve boat. We just need five boards, three ingots, and 15 weapon parts. All right, so let's grab some boards, let's grab some ingots, and let's grab some weapon parts. And here we go. Boom. All right, nice. We finally graduate to the wonderful recurve bow, which is quite an improvement over the normal bow. So we're going to put the normal bow here just as a backup for now. Uh, or I'm sorry, right down here, and we'll get that uh, taken care of, and we can put all of this stuff back in here for now. Um, as you <clears throat> saw in one of those clips, um, the hunters can actually get underneath the docks, so we'll probably end up covering the outside of those, but one kind of good thing about that, though, is usually well uh, yeah i'd say more often than not when they do they kind of get stuck down there making it really easy for me to kill them so i don't know maybe we should leave it the way it is <laughs> it creates like a little trap for them or something oh here she is you guys look at this recurve bow oh it's a beautiful thing it is a beautiful thing okay um so 
What do we need for the upgrade of this? Let's put that in there. Uh, we're going to need two ingots, three ropes, five electrical components, and three weapon parts. The weapon parts and electrical components are easy. In fact, we could we could do all of this right now, except for we need the power and the mass. Okay, well, let's take it out. I can't remember if the recurve bow with no upgrades whatsoever is capable of killing a level one wolf. So we're going to see if it can do that um, or not. When I had, uh, when I, you know, I, when I went through season one, I had it upgraded to level three, and it it could two shot uh, level one and level two wolves, and sometimes it even, actually, not maybe not sometimes, maybe most of the time it was three shotting even level three wolves. Uh, so pretty powerful pull bow with those upgrades. All right, so let's put that in there. Um, let's restock this. And as usual, we're going to wait for the free power and mass to build back up. And then the order of uh, what we're going to do next in terms of what we're going to build is we're going to build a recycler next because I've got a lot of stuff down in here that we can then feed into it. After we build the recycler, we're going to build the fridge. And then after we build the fridge, we're going to build the oven. And we already have the frying pan made. And once we have that done, then we're going to build the animal housing. So that's kind of the order uh, of items <clears throat> or equipment, I guess I should say, that I am planning on building next. All right. So let's see. I just keep watching the waters, you know, for attacks that come. Uh, if I can hit those guys in the water, I can, I can take them out pretty easily, even before they can even shoot at me. So... Um, you know, the hunters are at a pretty big disadvantage having to come across the water. Now, when winter comes, and it is November now too, by the way, uh, but when winter comes, you know, and the lake freezes over, then, you know, they're going to have the advantage. Or, well, I should say they're not going to have the disadvantage of having to swim through the water. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Now, in terms of winter, I do have up here, uh, I got a couple of cotton plants growing in here from seeds that I've found and uh, those are all tomato plants there and then we have three cotton in here so we actually have enough cotton to make another padded cloth so let's do that now and then what we'll do with that is put it with the other ones which I'm keeping in this third chest that I built uh, but we need a total of five of these to make the vest the other two three things are not a big deal uh, but we need five of these. And I think I am going to make the vest. I know it's not winter clothing, but it's going to go, you know, go such a long ways in helping keep us protected. And it does give one and a half warmth. And then, you know, after that, we'll work on the winter clothing. So winter is going to be interesting because I'm not, clothing-wise, I'm not really prepared for it. But, you know, I mean, we still have, we still have the early part of November. We don't start seeing snow until late November. So we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. If, if it gets to where, you know, we're, it's really super cold and we just still don't have the real warm weather clothing, we're just going to have to stick close to the base for a while. And that's all there is to it. Okay. So uh, with that all being said and done, the one I, I want to go out and loop. The one bad thing about that is I don't have any lock picks uh, because, you know, we've spent, we just spent a whole massive amount of power and mass to make this recurve bow. But man, it was worth it though. I'm so uh, stoked to have this bow now. So, let's see, where's the sun? It's about noon-ish, so we don't really want to go too terribly far in any case. And there are rogues over there. You can see their fire on the hill, so we're going to have to swim across uh, the water to get to the other side. Um, so let's um, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go out and have just kind of a short loot looting slash hunting trip. I do want to try the recurve out on a level one wolf. And see if we can two shot him without having to use the pistol. Again, I just don't remember if we uh, uh, can do that or, or can't, you know. Uh, so we're going to go test that out. And we have 21 normal wooden arrows, so we're good to go there. And yeah, so let's do that. Oh, wait a second. How close are we? You know, we're, we're, so, we're sort of kind of close. I think I'm going to wait, you guys. I think I'm going to wait until I can make a lockpick because 
it's just going to totally suck if we go out and about and find a locked crate and can't open it. So I think I'm going to cut the camera here and just, you know, kind of piddly fart around here, maybe do some fishing, whatever, log, do a little bit more logging until I can make a lock pick. And then when I can make a lock pick, it'll probably by that time be late afternoon. We'll go out and at least run up to the arch and see if we can find ourselves a lock crate. Okay, so I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. Okay, we got a level one bear. Uh, we should be able to pop him once with this and then take him out once with that. So level one bears are easy kills. They just don't usually give us very much stuff. Yeah, see three pieces of stuff. I mean, we'll get that off a level one wolf. It's just not worth it. Okay, we do have a wolf over here and a bunny that just spotted us. It's a level two wolf. I'm really close to those hunters. I really shouldn't be this close to them. Unless I want to engage them, which I kind of don't really want to at this point. I just came over here to cut a little bit of wood while I'm waiting for the mass and power to build up. Alright, let's shoot this wolf. Took him down quite a ways. He's a level two. Alright, so. So we can't quite two shot a level two, but I'll bet you. I'll bet you we can hit a level one, uh, two shot a level one, or it's gonna be so close. Let's grab this. Yeah, this is like a little bit close to these guys, but I mean, they're attacking me all of the time, so screw them. <laughs> I don't care. If they get mad and attack, let them come. Let them come, man. Let them come. All right, let's uh, butcher this dude. See, we got this same amount of stuff from a level two wolf that we did from a level one bear. How come I'm not getting washed off? Oh, now I am. That was weird. I didn't see how far down his health went after the second bow shot, but he was close. He was really close. All right, well, let's go back to the base and see if uh, we have enough mass and power to make that lockpick now. Okay, so let's make our lockpick here. So we're going to need some iron some boards and some scrap and let's um actually start smelting some iron down because uh, we're gonna need more of that and you're running right now I think I'm gonna keep him running just so you can, you can kind of counteract the prop power that this is using and start building back up. Okay, so let's wait for this meat to finish and then we'll head out. I would really like it if that uh, storm would go away. Let's make three of these. Oh, we just uh, set out and got the message our base was under attack. Let's head on back and deal with these yahoos. How oh, is that missing? All right, well, we got him. Can't hide behind the tree, man. Oh, you can get stuck in the tree, though. <laughs> I love it when they get stuck on trees.
Okay, let's do some repairing. Um, you know, it's starting to get dark. I might, um, I might just hang out around the base and wait till morning and then bring you guys back at that point. I think it probably makes sense to do that at this point. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it's morning, and it looks like those bastards are coming after us again. So let's just sit on the dock and wait for them. Try and make it across the water here. There's, excuse me, it looks like there's two of them. Okay, we got a shot there. It seems, it seems really weird when they're in the water. Like it doesn't quite shoot right or something. I don't know. I guess I'll need to start trying to shoot him, you know, uh, more in direct line of sight rather than at an angle. Anyway, okay, so, yeah, they, I, I, I just turned morning and I cut the woods, uh, or I'm sorry, I cut the trees on the island and then just getting ready to start up the recording and head out and I saw them coming coming over so yeah okay so let's go into here what do we need uh, we have enough rounds to refill the magazine on this and um, that's it though for rifle rounds uh, we have 29s we have five extra shotgun shells which is good well actually we have 10 extra if you count these in there, and we're gonna have to make three more magnums, so we have a full uh, magnum pistol there. Okay, not too bad. Um, we are at 939 power and 88 mass. Uh, we need, we're getting actually getting really close to being able to do the recycler. Um, but let's let that just just keep building up I guess and when we get back it'll definitely be ready at that point we'll put all this stuff in here and we have our lock pick that we made and I think we're good to go uh, we're just waiting for the well we don't have to wait for the magnum shells but uh, we're good on food and water let's go ahead and eat a tomato and our power just completely oh no our power ran out of fuel that's what happened okay uh, we got plenty of that so let's keep that going there. Okay. So um, we are looking for a level one wolf. To see if we can two shot it with the recurve bow, unupgraded recurve bow. And then just, you know, doing some basic looting today. And ho hopefully we'll find a locked crate as well. And yeah, it looks like we're, we're getting started by just grabbing some of the stuff right here on the island. Yeah, it looks like we have a clam. Oh, no, that's not a clam. It's a stupid sandstone. I'm not really going after that right now. I mean, we do get a little bit in, in the loot and from the hunters and stuff. Um, We probably will at some point, but it's just not a high priority right now. Okay. There's a rabbit. It's a little bit early for hunting, though, so let's just hold off on getting him. Unless we find a level one wolf, then we'll go after that right away. There's a level three wolf. Okay, let's avoid... Ah, crap. Level one bear. Um, and it looks like that's probably a medical crate. All right. Uh, let's not waste time with those guys. We could kill them, of course, but I really want to get uh, to a locked crate today for sure. Okay, I hear a wolf, and he's tracking us, but I don't know where he is. Okay, there he is. Well, he's a level two. And he decided not to track us. All right. So we, generally speaking, unless we get a crit or something, cannot 
two shot a level two with an unupgraded recurve. One upgrade on the recurve will probably be able to do that though. I'm thinking. There's a level one wolf. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Not quite, eh? Close. Okay. So, yeah, looks like we're going to need one upgrade to uh, two shot of level one. That was close, though. It was really close. Headshots would probably make that work, too. Okay, well, now we know. So, we will be working on trying to get this bow upgraded. All right, let's go over here. I see a crate. It's a lock crate. Beautiful. That's exactly what we were looking for. And I hear a wolf somewhere. Uh, that's a level three wolf. Okay, well, let's soften him up with this. And we'll take him out with a shotgun. Okay, let's see what we got. Three cotton seeds. We needed those for sure. That was definitely the best thing we got out here. We got quite a few rifle rounds too, my word. 16 rifle rounds. That is good. Okay, yeah, that was a nice crate. Absolutely nice crate. Okay, let's uh let's just keep looting. Okay, we got a wolf. Uh, oh, we got two wolves. A level two and a level one. All right. Um, let's get away from them. I'd like to hit that level one. What a shot, man. Look at that. Yeah, well, we three-shotted him anyway. The nice thing about the recurve is it has a little bit flatter trajectory, so... Yeah, it works out pretty good. We could probably three-shot a level two if we have enough distance like we did with that level one. I betcha we could. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can do that. Yowzers. Level 2 bear. Grab this building crate. Get out of here. Okay, where is that level 3 wolfie? He went that way. There he is. Okay. This is going to be one heck of a long shot, man. Nope, didn't get him. Okay, we got a body shot. Okay, he's coming straight. Oh, man, he dodged. Look at him go. Okay. Okay. That was an unexpected. When he started running straight at us, I figured he'd just stay on course, but <laughs> he dodged us, man. Good for him. Not that it did him any good in the long run, but still, I'm impressed, I gotta say. All right. I wasn't really paying attention to whether or not my arrows broke. Let's just run over here and take a quick scan. We're not gonna spend a lot of time looking for him, but. Supposedly, the recurve bow has a higher chance of breaking your wooden arrows. But that doesn't mean it's always going to do it. Yeah, those arrows could be anywhere. I don't think it's probably worth our time to 
keep looking for them. We were shooting at them over this way, right? Yeah, so. Okay, well, let's keep going. Uh, we need to get to a pond fairly quickly here to get our hands washed before we get infected. Let's take a look and see where we're at. Okay, let's go north to the central pond. And we'll wash up there and then keep looking for loot. There's a deer. Let's see if we can take that deer out. What's this? Copper. Yeah, let's grab some copper. Okay, I'm hearing gunshots. Look at that. Right in the noggin. So we probably got some rogues around here. We know they're not the normal hunters because they're all near the shore by our base. Thing about rogues is sometimes there can be like five or six of them. And when that happens, um, yeah, not good. That's a lot of rogues. Usually there's only three, but I've seen... Well, I guess I've seen up to five. I don't know if I've ever seen six, but... I wouldn't be surprised if that's a possibility. Right, there's a wolf over that way. Let's take a look and... Yeah, we're generally heading in the right direction towards the central pond. Let's just uh, make a beeline straight for there before we get infected here. I am looking for any sign of rogie poos. Sometimes they could come down here to fish. Uh, I don't see them at the moment. Let's get this. It looks like the shore is clear all the way around. So let's get some kelp and any other pearls that might be here. Okay, let's take a look and see. We have a little splotch up here that we need to uncover. Uh, due north. So let's go get that taken care of. Level 3 wolf there. <laughs> that was a little bit, a couple more shots than I actually needed to do, but whatever. Okay, let's go north. And we have another wolf here, and it's a level one. Okay. Keep coming straight, dude. Oh, that was not good. I missed. Alright, I killed him. While he was doing his mid-air jump. We have lots of nines, so that's good. We really need to be starting to think about getting back with all this meat that I got in my inventory now. Uh, but, you know, the refrigerator is going to be the next thing we're going to do after we get the... Um, recycler done. 
So it won't be too much longer to where we'll be able to start, you know, preserving all that stuff. So, okay, let's go to the map. We just need to kind of go up this way a little bit and then we'll have pretty much the entire eastern part of the map uncovered. We have to start working on getting the western part uncovered. Okay, let's swing over to Ortastic here. And then we'll start heading back. We got a black bear there. What level is he? There's a chicken. He's a level one. All right, let's take this guy out. Oh, are we seriously out of arrows? Really? Wow. Um. Okay. I guess we have been shooting a lot of arrows, haven't we? We're going to need to make some sticks. So let's uh, hit this grub tree up here. Um, I should also make a couple more bandages, too. We've been putting the recurve through its paces today. All right, I'm going to turn all of this wood into sticks, which will then convert into arrows. Grab that onion there. No, oh, shoot. Guess we uh, need more feathers. Here, yeah, let's butcher this guy. We got an ammo crate here, too. Okay. And shotgun. There we go. Let's hit the ammo crate, and then we need to head over to the lake and get our hands washed because we've been messy for a while here now. But not until we hit some ore from Ortastic first, though. If we do get infected, it's not the end of the world because I do have, I don't know, three or four of the... Oh, crap. We don't have room for that. Um, What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's, let's eat this. Well, we can't do anything about that. And that gives us room for potassium. Do we already have iron? Yes. Uh, wait, do we? Yes. Okay, so we can get iron here. Whoops, wrong button. It looks like that's all that Ortastic has for us today. Anything down in here? Sometimes there's crates that spawn down here, but I don't see any. Okay. Our base was pretty much fully repaired when we left it. Um... So I'm not too worried about one attack. Oh, I guess we already hit that tree. All right, where are we? What are we doing? Where are we going? Why are we here? Um, I'd like to kind of swing through here and uncover some of that. So let's go towards the lake and wash up, and then we'll aim in that direction. Oh, we got uh, rogues up there. Okay, let's go. Let's head south for a bit, and then we'll cut over and hit the lake. Another attack. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Well, it is what it is. As long as they don't destroy any of our equipment. 
Level three wolf and a doggone bear that way. Crap, we need to go through here. Didn't quite get to him. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Use the next more bandages than I needed to. Let's uh we actually we need the space anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's turn all of this into that and then grab the cloth. I'd rather have a piece of cloth than a piece of fiber. Where are we going? We need to go this way. Okay, washed up. Um, it's getting pretty doggone late, and I don't want to be out after dark, especially in the rain, so we need to make a beeline straight back to the base. Or we're going to get cold and start losing health otherwise. A level one wolf? Yeah. We're not going to stop for that zinc. If we go and do a straight line here... Oh, yeah, we are. We are going to uncover some territory. Let's actually move... <clears throat> a little bit more to the east and then turn this way. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, we got a crate over here and a level three wolf. Level three and a level one. And we're starting to take health damage. What is that? It's an apple. Yeah, let's go. We are out of stamina. Uh, I don't have any protein bars on me, do I? Okay, not good. Well, let's just keep moving. Come on, give me a protein bar, please. No, uh, we'll eat that and take these. We have to start thinking about making some of those heat packs. I don't usually need to use them until winter, but... Well, that was in season one, because I had winter clothing by the time winter hit. Don't think that's going to happen this time around. Let's take a look at the map and see where we are. Okay, we've got some rogues right there, and we're kind of headed right for Charlie. Uh, let's just kind of keep moving this way, though, and at some point we'll kind of cross over to the left. I might have to use my medipack if we get real bad here. Uh, either that or can we make a campfire? Uh, we need to cut a tree. And do I have any matches? No. Can I make this, though? Not without fiber. Okay. Let's just keep moving, then. Yeah, I know. I should have started heading back home a little sooner than this, but I didn't, so we got to deal with it. All right, what do we have that we can eat? Nothing except for an onion. That's not going to help us a whole lot, unfortunately. Let's keep moving.
Right, let's look at the map. Okay, so the good news is we can start going along the lake here, ashore here. And if we succumb... Oh shit, we better take this right now. Okay, that just bought us some health back. At least we'll be pretty close to our, our base. We're going to lose some stuff, which is going to suck. Can I make another one of those? Oh, look at that. Okay. We actually can. That is super good. Yeah, let's just keep moving. I don't have room for the fiber, unfortunately. I wonder if we should s try and swim. It's going to be a, the most direct path. Yeah, why don't we? I don't know if it's going to... I mean, we're already soaking wet, so I don't think it's going to make any difference at all in terms of the wet part of it. In fact, the water's actually warmer. Oh, yeah. We're good now. We're actually at 3 degrees uh, Celsius now. We can uh, handle up to minus, minus 2.5. Well, that's dry, though. But, yeah, we're, we're not... We're not getting taking any more health damage, so we're actually okay now. I forgot that the water is actually a little bit warmer. Um, I mean, it doesn't make any sense in, in real life, but whatever. We're not trying to make this game line up with real life. Anyways. Steak has perished. Oh, that sucks. Uh, well, you know what? Whatever. Let's just get back and see if we can get some of it cooked up anyways. Yeah, you know, being in this location makes it really difficult to go way up north and then get back in the same day. We're probably at some point going to have to do another outpost like we did in Season 1, a northern outpost. I'm not quite ready for that yet in terms of where we're at. Oh, it looks like we lost a, one of our stairways. That's okay, though. I mean, if we're going to lose something, I'd rather lose a stairway than a foundation, for example. We can replace that. And it looks like we lost... Or no, we didn't lose a wall. We got some pretty major damage here, but... All in all, we're, we're not in too bad a shape. Uh, okay, let's grab one of these... Get some warmth going here. Um, I want to get the livers cooking first because they're a lot, they give more nutrition than the steaks. And yeah. All right, well, we've got some repairing to do here for sure. Bastards. They hit us when we're gone because they can't do anything when we're here. <laughs> ah, well, that's the way it goes. Uh, we got full power, which is amazing. Um, and this is actually what we're going to make next. So let's um let's do that real quick before I let you guys go. Just need to drop a few things off here. All right, we're eating all of that stuff right now, and then let's get the next batch of livers going. And that uh, look at that—that that got us all the way back up. Okay, we're good. Let's drink that water. Okay, so what do we need to make this recycler? We need scrap, circuits, and boards. And there we go. It is a done deal. We still have a thousand power left over even after that. Uh, so the next thing's the fridge. So we just have to build up 1,200 power and 200 mass. Uh, so let's turn this back on and get started with that. And uh, we'll grab our handy dandy recycler here. And I think for now we will put that right here next to the fabricator. Make sure we're nice and lined up. Okay, cool. All right, now let's grab all of this stuff. Um, yeah, I think that too. And so right now we're at three. Well, you know what, though? We should really wait until we get the free first. Yeah, I'm going to wait till we get the free mass uh, built up, and then, then we'll th feed all this stuff in. Uh, but we should uh, 
we should get a nice chunk of, of mass from all of the stuff that I've been saving up. All right, you guys. Well, it's time to wrap up this episode. I think we probably went a little too long this time around, but that's all right. Um, so the plan's going to be that um, as soon as we have the stuff, we're going to build a fridge next, and then after that, we'll build the oven next. And we already made the frying pan earlier, and then we can start working on liver and onions and working towards a pot... Um, which is, yeah, that's going to be kind of expensive, but that's all right. We'll work towards it. Um, and then we can start making like tomato soup. And once we get into liver and onions and tomato soup, we're, we're going to be in really good shape food wise. Um, and then, you know, we'll keep eventually, you know, working, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. After we do that, then we're going to go start doing animal housing uh, so that we can start doing steak and eggs. Uh, and then we'll be in super, super good shape. I mean, we're already okay. We're, we're definitely not hurting at all for food, but we want to get into that better food because not only is the food itself better, <clears throat> but it also starts giving us more level cap for stamina and health, too. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And as usual, I'll probably do some off-camera looting and, you know, building up some more resources. And I'll bring you back at some point with an update. And we will go from there. Okay, see you in a while. <laughs> Bye.